Yeah, I filmed three years worth of YouTube videos in 30 days. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it and how you can do the same thing too. I'm Jesse with Inspire Video Marketing where I show you how to inspire with your video and make a great living while doing it. If that is something you're looking to do, subscribe and click the bell icon. So, how did I manage to get that much done? So I'm basically set. Well, first of all, caveat. I wanna make sure we understand that wasn't for this channel. It was for my more popular channel, Get Handles Basketball, which right now has about 430,000 subscribers. But I knew I wanted to start doing this, Inspire Video Marketing. So I knew I had to free up some time. So this is very powerful if you want to like have a channel, like literally this could build an entire business for you in 30 days worth of work. Get Handles Basketball is where my full-time income comes from until I build up this brand and this business, right? So by taking the time to do that, not only am I going to continue to build that business, but it's freeing up time for me to do this. And it could do the same for you. It'll allow you to maybe start a second YouTube channel. Um, be more successful with that first YouTube channel that you have. Or maybe do it on the side while you have a regular nine to five job so you can get that YouTube channel to that point where it's full time. So part of why I decided to do this is because I had to film all my videos for Get Handles Basketball in a gym. And me and my wife were about to move to Florida. So we didn't know if I'd be able to get gym access when I moved down here. So it's kind of a necessity in a way as well. Now before I did anything, I had to figure out what am I gonna do scheduling wise. Now at the time I was planning on doing three videos a week. So at the time it would have been about two years worth of content. But I since moved to just doing two videos a week. So now that same content that I filmed is probably gonna last me about three years since I dropped down to one less video per week. But I figured out, okay, if I'm gonna do about this many videos a week, that means over the course of you know one year, two years, I would need this many videos. So just all you gotta do is take 52, it was about 52 and a half weeks in a year, but we'll say 52 times however many videos you wanna do a week. Is it one video a week? I would recommend that as being your minimum baseline. If it's two, two times 52, so that's 104. Or three, if you're gonna do three videos a week, that's 150, 162? I don't know, I'm not, I don't have a calculator. I'll put that on the screen once I got it figured out. The point is, you'll know what that target number is, and now you just gotta create a bunch of video ideas. Here's how you do that. So what I did is, I planned out a ton of videos. So. How would you wanna go about doing this? Well, there's a lot of tactics that you can go about it, coming up with different content ideas as far as uh, videos you think you will do well and suggested, ones that you think just have the potential to maybe you know go semi-viral or even potentially actually viral by just being a really interesting topic. Or, of course, you could always go the search engine optimization route. Now, if you wanna get more in depth as far as like how to come up with a lot of content ideas, I'll have a link in the description down below for a video that covers that. But at the end of the day, you need to do a lot of planning. Now, here's the best way I recommend you go about that planning to make it happen more quickly and just to come up with some really good, unique, and interesting ideas that will allow you to get videos that actually perform well. You don't wanna just make a ton of content that's not really optimized to perform well, whether being you know interesting or search engine optimized or suggested engine optimized. If you don't have those pieces in place and kind of have an idea of you know how to like make those videos perform well, then you're kind of just putting in a lot of time for nothing. So you gotta make sure that piece is in place. But with keeping that in mind, what I recommend you do is just set aside some time. Now this might take a day, might take two days, might take about a week. And with that time, you're just gonna plan. You're gonna go crazy. Here's a video idea, here's a video idea, here's a video idea. And I know you might be thinking like, how can I come up with that many video ideas? Here's a couple tips. When you're going through your YouTube feed and you see videos that were kind of interesting, see if you could come up with an idea that's kind of similar to that or something that piggybacks off that. And as you start planning, if you set aside your time, like set aside an hour, you know, for one day, and you start planning one video and then do another and then do another, ideas start coming a lot more quickly once you've done a few of them. And you'll find that you'll find interesting twists for all those original video ideas. Maybe you could make two videos out of one that would normally just be one because you found a twist, right? So for me, on my Get Handles basketball channel, I would do how to crossover, right? Well, I could do another video on how to make your crossover faster. I could do another one on how to make your crossover stronger. I could do another one on how to cross over so it really fakes your defender, right? You could find all these different angles and twists that you could put to each of those videos. Or maybe you could figure out ways to combine different concepts together. So maybe another video I came up with would be how to do a different type of dribble move, right? And I could talk about in another video from that how to combine that other dribble move and the crossover. So you can see how these things can remix with each other 
And as you take the time and set aside the time to plan, all these ideas will just come much more quickly. Now you want to start with, again, a few different types of ideas. So you could, you know, use inspiration from different YouTube videos that you're seeing or typing a few things into the search bar and seeing what comes up. And then from there, say, okay, this is one thing I could do. Write that down in your notes. And that's what I do. I put everything in my notes app on my iPhone. That's how I went about it. And then from there, you'll come up with idea, 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 right? And from bringing those ideas together, you come up with all kinds of little twists, variations, concepts that will feed off of each other. But it's key that you set that time aside. If you don't set that time aside, you're gonna have a really hard time getting the content necessary. After I had all those video ideas planned out, next step was, of course, I had to go film them, right? So once I did a few filming sessions, I kind of figured out, okay, I can get about this many videos done in this amount of time. And I would figure out, like, if, if I had, like, four hours worth of time that I could set aside to film, and I would be to the point where in those four hours I would get, like, 11 done, I would always try to get 12 done. So that put me on the pace of having about three per hour. So three in the first hour, six by the second hour, nine by the third hour, and then by the end of the fourth hour, I should be to 12 videos. And if I wasn't quite to 12, if I was at 11, and I had like 10 minutes left, I would just figure out something quick that I could, you know, rip out real quick where I'm just maybe talking to the camera, not demonstrating basketball moves. Now, that was the big thing was that I made sure I was staying on schedule. Like if I was behind on hour one, I would know that. I don't have quite three videos that I got to pick up the pace. Or if I had four done in that first hour, I was like, sweet, I'm, I'm ripping them out. I'm doing really good. I'm kicking some butt and getting these videos done. I'm doing awesome, let's keep this pace going. And maybe I can get 13 done today and get ahead of schedule, which I did quite a bit. But the more you do this filming, you'll get an understanding of, okay, about how long it takes you to make a video. So from that, you can say, okay, I need to get to the gym or I need to set up time to film for this amount of time, right? So you know that you gotta find a quiet space, get your lighting, make sure you've got your mic and all that set up. You've got enough battery in your camcorder. You've got your memory card, right? All those little things you'll start to make sure that those are prepared. If you don't have what you need, you can go buy another memory card. That's what I did. I bought another memory card to make sure I have enough memory. I made sure I had some extra batteries that I got on Amazon and it was worth it. Like, yeah, it cost a little extra money, but now it's like, I've got my next three years worth of content ready to go. So the amount of time it actually took me to get that many videos filmed was, I, I split it up so I didn't go to the gym and film every day. Now if you're doing something where you're not doing something physical, you could probably literally do this every day. It took me about two and a half months going three to four days a week to the gym for about four hours each. And most weeks I typically did three days, so 12 videos in one day, Next day I'd be at 24, next day I'd be at 36. That's 36 videos in just one week from going three days a week. Now, if you're doing more talking head videos like this, you could probably bust out even more than that in a week. You could probably film every single day and do four hour sessions and get like seven days done. And if you're getting 12 videos done in seven days, boom, you, you could get like almost a year's worth of videos right there. But all in all, the actual amount of days that I filmed, it took about 30 days to get three years worth of content done. Now, if you need help with coming up with content ideas, this YouTube video is gonna show you exactly how to do that. Hopefully this video helps show you a process that can help you free up a bunch of time and get your channel growing. Subscribe and click that bell icon to catch the newest videos and I'll see you in that video next.